All right, so let's start with taking a deep breath in and out, in and out. If we wish to, feel free to close your eyes. Breathing in and out. With that out breath, grounding us to our seat, pulling us downwards towards the earth, connecting us to our place here in this world. So let us now bring to mind a loved one who has passed on to the spiritual world. It could be someone that we knew personally, or it could be someone we didn't know personally, but we admired. As we bring them to mind, let us breathe into the knowledge that they are present to us in the spirit, that they are connected to us by the love that is shared or a life that is resonant with us. From Psalm 34, verses 1 through 10. I will bless the Lord always. Praise will continually be on my lips. My soul will boast about God. Let the oppressed hear and be glad. Glorify the Lord with me and let us exalt God's name together. I sought the Lord who answered me and freed me from all my fears. Those who look to the Lord are radiant and their faces are never covered with shame. The poor called out. God heard and saved them from all their troubles. The angels of the Lord encamp around those who revere God and rescues them. Taste and see how good God is. Happiness comes to those who take refuge in the Lord. Holy people of God, revere the Lord. For those who stand in awe of God lack nothing. The young lion may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord will lack no good thing. So let us bring to mind our loved one and take a moment to recognize how they are strengthening us in this moment. How might you both be exalting God's name together right now? From the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 1 through 8. Now when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on a mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him and he began to teach them. He said, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, 
for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Let us bring to mind our loved one and take a moment to recognize how they might be blessing us. How might they be present to us even in those moments when we do not feel blessed? From the book of Revelation, chapter 7, verses 9 through 17. After this I looked, and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, tribe, people, and language, standing before the throne and before the Lamb. They were wearing white robes and were holding palm branches in their hands. And they cried out in a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. All the angels were standing around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They fell down on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, saying, Amen. Praise and glory and wisdom and thanks and honor and power and strength be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders asked me, these in white robes, who are they and where did they come from? I answered, sir, you know. And he said, these are they who have come out of the great tribulation. They are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will shelter them with his presence. Never again will they hunger, never again will they thirst. The sun will not beat down on them nor any scorching heat. For the lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. He will lead them to springs of living water. And God will wipe every tear from their eyes. Let us bring to mind our loved one and recognize how they may be leading us. How might they be wiping the tears from our eyes in the moments that we need it? From True Christianity number 475. Our mind is the spirit within us that lives after death. Our spirit is continually in contact with people in the spiritual world who are similar to us. Our spirit is also present with people in the physical world through the material body with which it is surrounded. The reason we do not know that our minds are among spirits is that the spirits we are associating with in the spiritual world think and speak in a spiritual way. 
But our spirit, as long as it is in a physical body, thinks and speaks in an earthly way. And spiritual thought and speech cannot be understood or perceived by an earthly person or the reverse. This is also why we cannot see them. But when our spirit is spending time with spirits in their world, then it uses spiritual thought and speech to communicate with them. Because the inner mind is spiritual, but the outer mind is earthly. Therefore, we communicate with spirits through our inner faculties. But we communicate with other people through our outer faculties. And if all interaction with spirits were taken away from us, we would perish instantly. So let us bring to mind our loved one and recognize how they might be sustaining us in our everyday life. How might they be in communion with us even when we cannot see it? On the Death of the Beloved by John O'Donohue. We look toward each other no longer from the old distance of our names. Now you dwell inside the rhythm of breath, as close to us as we are to ourselves. Though we cannot see you with outward eyes, we know our soul's gaze is upon your face, smiling back at us from within everything to which we bring our best refinement. May you continue to inspire us to enter each day with a generous heart to serve the call of courage and love until we see your beautiful face again in that land where there is no more separation, where all tears will be wiped from our mind and where we will never lose you again. Amen. And so now, let us prepare to turn at, return our awareness to our physical space here. Let's take some deep breaths in and out. Letting the movement of our lungs reorient us back to our space here or wherever we are. And when you are ready, you may open your eyes. <laughs>